New game. Half-Life 2 Ice. Freeman. Freeman. As you've been going through, we will find how that happens. Dude, you've said that like four times. Time to make that choice. Oh my gosh! So Freeman, do I do I need to say more? I hope not. Yo, what's up, fellas? We could just leave. What? What? <laughs> this is random loading screen. Okay, your turn. That really bad G Man impression was more unsettling than the real thing. Yeah, I know. The fact that he had, like, no facial animation whatsoever. He's just, like, dead stares into your soul the whole time. That is really weird looking ice. Okay, let's go. Good. Dr. Freeman's up, Neil. Doggy? Hello. You're Dr. Freeman, right? I've been told to tell you that they're waiting for you uh. over in the lab. Why is this guy so wide? <laughs> Disturbing. Oh my, that's a giant lettuce. No, copyright. Oh, oh the gosh. dog likes it though. Anyway, You good? <laughs> what exactly did I just eat? Real, Real peanut, peanut butter. butter. <laughs> okay, cool. Hey, Doc. He's so worried. <laughs> Your turn. Okay. Hey, Freeman! Welcome to the old Norwegian. <laughs> You're gonna have to follow me and listen real close. <laughs> This is where we keep the frozen border guns. Been a while since we heard the jibber jabber. The jibber jabber. This is where we keep the frozen border guns. <laughs> if I ever give a house tour. <laughs> Dr. Gordon Freeman, what, what is you? Uh, this is James Don't forget Richmond. to charge it up in one of those combine grade six charges on the wall. Am I supposed to be listening to this guy? Hmm. I can't even understand that. He's talking twice at the same time. <laughs> you just leave. All right. This is where my programming stops. Good luck out there, Freeman. Wait, he's literally just here to specifically guide Gordon Freeman from the start of this building, from the entrance, all the way to the exit. And that's the only thing he was built for. Guess so. Whoa, they've got a du double computer setup. <laughs> that pretty... doesn't even make sense. Actually, that's what streamers do because they're like, uh, st live streaming takes too much CPU power. So I'm going to hook up one co computer for gaming and one computer for streaming, and I'm going to link them together with a bunch of HDMI cables. Your turn. 
Do you hear that? Did they unthaw the Vortigaunts? I wait. No, thaw thaw the Vortigaunts, right? Unthaw yeah. would be to freeze. Unthaw would be to freeze. Why is this Did door they... sideways? Take this med kit. <laughs> he looked so angry for a split second after I shot him, and then he gave me a med kit. <laughs> Take this freaking med kit. Have a med kit. Take this med they, kit. They really want you to have the med kit. Here, take this med kit. Here, have a med kit. Run. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. <laughs> I'm perpetually stuck at 73 health. Space llamas! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, there's there are space llamas now. This is amazing. This is the real Half-Life 3. Half-Life 3, real, no fake. This feels like some kind of like, I don't know, like one of them, one of them parody cartoons. I know exactly what you're talking about, and you're absolutely right. Where are the other ones? They all got slammed by the space llamas. Oh no. This guy died in a cave with his peanut butter and his jack links. <laughs> Who yes. eats peanut butter and jack links together? He had sustenance and he still died. I know what. Like, he was 20 feet away from the rebel base in that direction. Like, why did he come in here to die with his peanut butter and jerky? Okay, you can. It's your turn. All right. This is. This is where they put the combine together. <laughs> Some assembly required. Your turn. He this is like both a terribly made mod and a really well made mod at the same time. This is kind of a cool level. It looks it looks like Half Life. This looks like something that would be in Half Life, it, despite the extremely janky looking mountains. Yeah. All right, your turn. Why are these levels so short? Oh cool, I love these things. Every time there's a video game with one of these things in it, it always turns out to be a good video game. You one can... of what? These ski lifts. Hold on a second. Alright, uh, I had to alt tab for a second. I pause. <laughs> okay. Oh come on, you made me uncrouch! <laughs> okay, what kind of ski lift is this? It just goes down and then underground. This is the least fun skiing trip I've ever been on. It's a ski down. This is the skiing? <laughs> they just put you in a metal box and send you down the hill? Okay, your turn. Alright. That was a fun level. These are oh. big frickin' buttons. Well, which one are you gonna press? I press both of them. Oh. I want more space llamas. Those were cool. My brain has a really weird way of perceiving things. I thought this was a dude, like, crouching in a fetal position. <laughs> Wait, do they hurt? Yep. They look like like guacamole like like you cut open a an avocado that's what the inside of them looks like i was gonna say rotten cantaloupe but you're probably closer I mean, we could probably eat these things dude make guacamole out of them space frogs uh chum toads did someone say chum Ooh. why'd you make me shoot <laughs> My cursor was uh, on the screen and I wanted to get rid of it. Oh, I thought you were just really excited that we got a new weapon and you wanted to test it out before I could. <laughs> oh, your turn. You get to hold the guacamole. Okay. It's gone. Aww. Okay. Hamster wheel? Half of a hamster wheel? Oh no, uh, that's broken, a broken ladder. Broken ladder. What the heck are you talking about? <laughs> I it looked like a hamster wheel. I'm just saying, you can't you can't say I'm wrong. <laughs> and I thought I had bad perception. I may I may think generators are are 
fetal position crouching dudes, but at least I don't think broken ladders are hamster wheels. They could be a hamster wheel, though, if you construct them properly. Okay, your turn. It would, and the space llamas. <gasps> uh, we have arrived, brethren. <laughs> he looked at him. Okay, I can't move. I can't move. Wait, no, don't do this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you crashed the game, didn't you? It's just, it's you just crashed the, the game. Just one frame of dead penguins with an explosion in the background and then and then it just crashes to desktop. That was the canonical ending to Half-Life 3. Half-Life 3, happy feet. Wait, so we got space <laughs> llamas, but they gave us regular penguins? They remember last time, they're uninterested. Your turn. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Usually I get a chance to like, uh, like recline in my chair and just chill out for a bit. Not to the helmet. Yeah, you have to put it on when it's too cold. It's too cold in this area. It, it muffles the music too. <laughs> that that just makes it seem like the music is actually like canonically in like in the environments of the game. <laughs> it kind of is actually. Like that's kind of how the Source Engine handles music, which is funny. Oh, yeah, but like in universe, it's just like the combine roll up with like their MVP, <laughs> their MV, MP3 players, like and just, <laughs> MVP. <laughs> the MVP rolls out with his MP3 player. My turn. Oh no, our greatest enemy yet. We did it. We found the Borealis. It's right here. Your turn. Uh, Wait, why are you going back? I could not tell which My way turn. you came in. Your turn. I have to take these guys <laughs> out from afar. This is the Combine Arctic uh, research team. They're here to study the penguins. Wait, so the humans couldn't live peacefully, but the penguins could? That's not fair. I guess they weren't useful enough to... Uh, absorb into their uh, economy of aliens that they use to accomplish things. I know how to words. Too high. Too high. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's not helping. <laughs> well, lower your aim then. It's a little hard to... Too high. Lower your mouth. Okay, there you go. Oh my gosh. One of them survived? Why why was there no firing sound for the shotgun? Just the just the pump sound. Your turn. Oh no, somebody, but what are these things? A Bondabado snowman. It, they look like some kind of twisted Pokemon. Abdominal snowman. Uh, I got the collat! Dude, I got the collat! I mean this in the nicest way possible. I frankly do not care. Ah uh, yes, I wonder if this is a Combine base. They only have Combine logos on every one of their windows that aren't actually windows because they're <laughs> metal covers on them. Isn't that, like, illegal? I'm pretty sure there's, like, an OSHA code that requires a certain amount of windows in the workplace. Okay, your turn. You know, like- Wait, oh, wait, wait, stop for a second. What? Look around. What is this place? It looks to me like a cross between a train station and a Chuck E. Cheese. Or Chuck E. Cheese went out of business and was bought up by like Grand Central Station or something. 
My turn. This looks like a loading. Yep. <laughs> I can always tell when it's a loading because there's always these weird corridors with the nonsensical little, like, blocked off areas in between. It's weird. So what is our objective? We've kind of just been going around murdering various life forms for no apparent reason. Your guess is as good as mine. We just went from Grand Central Station to a meat locker. Yeah. Do they have those in Grand Central Station? They have those at a Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> That's kind of disturbing. <laughs> How else are they going to keep the bacon cold? Oh, I didn't know you actually had to do that. I just kind of... You know. <laughs> Such a stupid door. Ow! What? <laughs> I'm sorry, I called it stupid and it decided to hit back. What? Why did hitting it in this direction make it come toward me? Aw, oh, dang it, I wanted that to be the Ultra Collat, come on. Did you use the harpoon? Yeah. Watch. Yeah, the zombies are too thick for that. There oh. is a vent up there. Well, yeah, but I tried that already. Nothing works. I tried shooting. Oh, well, now what? Hey, there's something. Oh, it's, it's there's something in there. I wonder what it is. Okay, well, there's no ladder in there, so we probably couldn't go in there. And I can't see. In there. Okay, your turn. Okay. Oh no, you trap. <laughs> Au contraire, I am in a formidable fortress. There is uh, no way they'll be able to find me. Oh my gosh, you're like BB-8 with the trash can on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Well, I guess this is coming with me. Okay, I think I know a way to get out of this. So, if I, like... Yeah. Okay. So... <laughs> I can't believe you done this. I didn't do anything! So if I could push it up here, it... as physics would have it, this should, like, tip over. Oh, oh there we go! Yay! This is the reason why we have a PhD in theoretical physics. Because all of those physics were entirely theoretical. Nobody's ever gotten stuck in a situation like that before, so we could only theorize. Hey, and it worked! At least this game is more enjoyable than Leon's Half-Life 3. Yeah. And there aren't as many enemies, I wonder why that is. <laughs> oh, that. Oh, Kalat. That's such an annoying term, and I thought that I came up with it, like... When we were doing Leon's Half-Life 3 and I said it for the first time, I thought it was just a stupid word that I made up that sounded gamer, but that's apparently an actual gamer term. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, it is. Your turn. What's the purpose of all those doors if only one of them is an actual door? We know. It don't work. Hey, it's Star Wars! The Star <laughs> Wars method actually worked! Oh remember, when we were, remember when we were doing, uh, Seven Co-op? That only works in Star Wars, come on. Come on, though. It, it was worth a try. Yeah. <laughs> These are my favorite custom mobs in the whole game. One of them? Really? I don't even think that one was the closest one, either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. I love how the sky just melts <laughs> at that one point. It yeah. just turns into a waterfall. For the flat earthers were right, we've reached the edge. But it's not a disc, it's a square. I I predict this is a loading screen. Yep, your turn. Oh boy, 
Okay. Do you like headshots? Yeah, we like headshots. I hate that. What, that the sniper shooting you or the meme I just referenced? The meme! <laughs> I can deal with the sniper. I, I merely tolerate you. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do, fellas. Die. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> okay, Briac, what am I gonna do? Uh, rush B. Got it. <laughs> I, got, I got. I tripped over. Oh my gosh! I keep tripping over things. Oh. <laughs> of course, I get the one that actually kills most of them. Yay! I love these. Get away from my tank that I'm driving telekinetically. Dr. Breen? Again? I thought I saw the last of him in City 14. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, it's, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's okay, physics doesn't exist here. Touch! It just oh, teleported so you back. Okay, okay, okay. How much you want to bet every single one of those teleports you back to the beginning? What would be the purpose of that? It's a troll. What? What? <laughs> what was that? Uh, your turn? Pre preview of the f of the final boss confirm. Imagine that. Are these things from something? It looked like it was from the Buzz Lightyear Star Command video game. Like, all right. <gasps> We're almost to the Borealis. I could smell the aperture. Is this like a car garage? Oh man, I don't you, don't you love it when you go to the car garage and they just have like this back room with deadly lasers for no reason. I don't know what yeah. that was. <laughs> Firing range. Oh, don't you just love it when you get past the deadly lasers in the car garage and you get to go to the firing range in the back? Oh my gosh, that's... You know, that's a, that's a casual Tuesday. Aperture Laboratories, AS-12. It's a vertical shotgun. Wait, it's not vertical anymore. That that shot was completely vertical. Everything else isn't. Okay, I was about to say that sounds that like despite it being completely pointless, that sounds like something Aperture would have made. A vertical Be shotgun. Uh, like for for no reason, just because that's something Aperture does. Also, what's the point? Of making a shotgun with a scope on it. Uh. Unless it's long range. Is it? Wait. What's the spread pattern look like from all the way back there? Okay, that's not. That's not very accurate. So, there is no point in having a scope on it. Uh. Thanks, Aperture. Very cool. I can imagine the Cave Johnson recording introducing that shotgun. Now allow me to introduce the Aperture Science Vertical Shotgun. Now you may be thinking, Cave Johnson, why on earth would you make a vertical shotgun with a scope on it? Well, let me tell you, I don't have to answer to you. You're fired! <laughs> I assume this stuff is deadly. What gives you that impression? This is also something Aperture would totally do, just have a bunch of random canisters of biohazard material in their hallways for no reason. Like, oh, uh, we couldn't find anywhere else to put them. We ran oh out of gosh. storage space. We just have to litter the offices with them. What? what? Hey, Whoa. that is the what? door that was what? open. I saw a robot Vortigaunt. Go, 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 go. Aperture robot Vortigaunt. What? 
Allow me to introduce the Aperture Science Vorticant. That's robotic. It's an excellent design by our laboratory to make sure that the Vortigaunts come under our control. Now, I know what you're saying. Okay, why on Earth is an alien species needed to be turned into a robot? Isn't the alien species a discovery in and of itself? Well, I tell you, that's wrong! Black Mesa decided they would discover the aliens first, so we decided to take their discovery and enhance it! That's very disturbing. Oh, stop it! I never went back here, and it's like... Really thought... trippy architecture back here. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Is this Cave Johnson's secret meeting room? That takes place in like, the back rooms? So what did I just get? Yes! You did it! Did what? You got the trophy! Wait, where's the- where's the trophy? Where's the trophy? Come on! It was playing the intro animation to the trophy thing! Stop it! Wait, where's... Get... What?! He can do it through the wall?! That's not fair! Yeah, this is definitely an Aperture Science facility. Why would they have vents that can just freeze entire offices over and turn people into ice zombies? I pay the bills around here. Stop asking questions! <laughs> Every time I see something weird, I'm just gonna say, yeah, this is definitely Aperture. They all, oh, a portal gun? That's actually a gravity gun, but that's a cube? Oh yeah, this is definitely Aperture. This is literally just the gravity gun. What asked? We developed uh, first. All you can do is grab and punt. Which is exactly what the gravity gun is. Okay, your turn. You get to go through the aperture, the bootleg aperture science testing facility. Ah. You didn't even jump. I pressed the space bar, I can guarantee that. You didn't even jump. Stop talking! <laughs> oh! Ah! Oh! Why did aperture invent flamethrower? alien Pokemon. Why won't you die? <laughs> Did it just laugh? Yes. Oh. Key card. Key Wait, card. key card. Key card. Key card. Oh, you didn't read it. Well, yeah. Why does it still say access to <laughs> Is it your turn? I hear scary noises. What? What? What is that sound? It's a very loud conveyor belt! Every time we go through... Is that my suit making that noise? I hope you don't mind. Stay on track. When times get hot, go to go back. What? I didn't understand a word of that. Wait, did they just did he just pull a no man's sky and we're back at the start? I think he was saying, like, you're not supposed to be exploring the Aperture Science branch in Antarctica. You're supposed to be doing something else, so get back on track. I'm teleporting you back to where you're supposed to be. Fighting the Combine. We killed him with health. Okay, my turn. Are those footsteps or anti-aircraft fire two very different things but i'm afraid i know which one it is we're going to have big monster up ahead be careful i told you i told you big boss was coming up it's like i run away this was a bad <laughs> idea come back here scum 
<laughs> what? <laughs> teleports, teleports behind, behind you. <laughs> so he could get away. <laughs> go inside, it's just only weakness. What are these things? Oh. I see. So you just gotta turn on the power. Okay, spicy beats. <laughs> ah! Okay. We are powered. Come on, Gerald. Watch him just appear on the on the roof. Oh my gosh. Gerald, I thought you wanted to die. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. For a second, I thought it was just gonna overcharge him and, like, turn him into Super Saiyan mode. Oh my god. <laughs> Bobsled. These- you could make a really cool beat with all the the gun sounds in this game, because there's, like... There's the punt sound, which is really cool. The comment section and then, will know what to do. And then the machine pistol, if you hold right-click, goes... Oh, speaking of which, peanut butter. Uh, did you notice what just happened? You so, open the door and there's a bunch of people standing in here for no reason? No. How does this joke mod have better voice acting than, like, most of the ones that are supposed to be serious? I know, no. I know, no. But cake face. Chimp. That wasn't an invitation to quote the <laughs> thing. I do not ban me, for I not steal his chest. I bored. Sorry, but I do not know what happened. I suddenly banned. Who just died on the furniture? What? <laughs> they oh. tripped on a bench. Harla. <laughs> They seriously, you? they seriously died by stubbing their toe on the bench. Okay, stand back! Wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> You're about to kill him. Whoa, How come that? I couldn't open the door? I think it might be Invader or something. <laughs> what a gamer. He just, like, ran away from you as fast as he could after he said that, because he knew it was coming. Where do we go now? Looks like you it might be a beta them. or something. What? <laughs> Was that the beta dude that just died? I don't know. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Go look at him. I gotta know if that was the, the nerd that died. It was. No. We lost beta, man. We lost a true We, we lost. No. <laughs> we only have one squad mate left. <laughs> Wait until that one trips on something. Oh my gosh. Then we'll be forever alone. Where am I supposed to go? Maybe down that hall? I mean, this is where I went to get the weapon, but I mean, I, oh. can, I can take a look. Take a look. Okay, your turn. Are we trying to finish this game before the day's out? I don't know. How far, how much longer do you think we're going to be here if that's the case i i don't usually have a specific goal in mind i just kind of go until you don't want to anymore wow she's excited man she has pro call outs hello Aperture- oh my gosh, it's a living Aperture Science employee. I thought they all went extinct. Has he just been standing there the whole time? For the last 40 years, he's been here. Be careful, we can't- we can't go losing Gordon Freeman now, can we? There's another one! Who? Dr. Freeman. I can't see. This is not fair. Stop killing me with the screens black. What are you doing to my face? Oh no. <laughs> Even the Aperture Science employees are concerned.
No, not again. <laughs> Oh my You're going god. To have to make a choice. <laughs> hey, we did it. We did it. I don't know what we accomplished. What All did we did accomplish? Was show up laying on the ground exactly where we started and just heard <laughs> so it was it was a no man's sky ending then i told you <laughs> uh...